Welcome back. Thank you. This is Commonwealth. Uh, I'm your host for today, Pastor Kelvin. We've had a very really interesting discussion in the past in the past part of it, and uh, we're just going to continue on. As we were about to conclude, I believe we dealt with a bit of knowledge and faith, and uh, I want us to a bit expound a bit on that. What is the relationship between knowledge and faith? Where you find someone who is just purely operating by faith, which is good, but that faith must, must have a basis. It must have a basis. It's not like presumptuous, where you just move on and on and you absolutely have no bearing, nothing to hold on to. Because like in the scripture, Abraham had a word. He held on to that word and he moved and acted by faith. Now it's not a place only of action, but when you're acting, do you have a word for it? Hmm. Okay, so faith, the way you've mentioned, yeah. has to have an element of uh, knowledge. Hmm. Uh, that means you may need to know mm -hmm. where you're going. Yes. So that element of knowledge mm -hmm. is critical. Mm -hmm. Someone may say, Abraham went without knowing where he was going. Yes. Mm -hmm. However, you realize that he left the land where he was yeah. to a specific land yes. called O. Mm -hmm. So he moved to a knowledgeable place. Mm -hmm. The action of moving is what took faith. Mm -hmm. But there has to be destination. Yes. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. You have to know where you are going. Mm -hmm. So it's important to have knowledge yes. of where you want to go. Mm -hmm. You may not have the actual details. Details, yes, good. But that you is the right one. You need to have at least a bear. Yes. For example, if you want, you've never been to Mombasa. Mm -hmm. if you want to go to Mombasa. At least you'll have the basic knowledge of knowing if you're going by road, mm -hmm. you have to go to town mm -hmm. to pick either a bus or if you're flying, mm -hmm. you need at least to know where the airport is. Yes. You've never been to Mombasa, mm -hmm. but the knowing. Knowing where the airport is, mm -hmm. is critical. Yes. You can't fly like a, blood, a bird, mm -hmm. you have to get to the airport. So you have the faith to go to Mombasa. Yes. But there has to be, you must know where are you going to take maybe the ticket or maybe Correct. where are you going to pick the bus. Correct. Because that knowledge is, is necessary Very to get to the destination. Very important. So you can't just say I'm going to Mombasa and you're going to Kisumu. Or maybe you're going to Nakuru. You'll be surprised when you arrive in Mombasa. <laughs> Be a shock on you. Yeah. So knowledge is critical. Yes. Therefore, it's also clear. It says where my people perish mm -hmm. for lack, of, lack knowledge. of knowledge. That means you are mm -hmm. venturing into to things you are not clearly yeah. aware. The technicalities that are required yes. for for you to make it work. So you will suffer in something good. So for and actually most believers uh, have made that mistake, and I think actually most ministers have suffered that. Yeah. Because uh, they have been on the stage, on the pulpit preaching, yeah. but now you find that they, they assume that the same way they have been successful in preaching, yeah. they will be successful in business. Yeah. Not knowing those two are different fields. Yeah, because you need to know how things work yeah. on the other side. On the other side. Yes. The principle could be same, but they are what we would call the rules on the ground. The rules. The things that work on the ground mm -hmm. are not same. Mm -hmm. They may not. They may be similar, but they are not same. Yes. Lack of knowing that mm -hmm. will bring you to a point of a loss. living a disastrous life. Wow. You will suffer for what I mentioned the other time. You are suffering from what is good. What is supposed to make mm -hmm. you better. Yes will actually make you suffer because of lack of knowledge. And then you blame God. You will blame God because it is God who said we should work. It is God who said we should either preach. You, see, it, you know, yeah. everything has started with God. Yes. So your own ignorance can lead you to think God is against mm. you. But yeah. it is your lack of knowledge, knowledge. Mm. that is making you suffer mm -hmm. out of what is supposed to be even benefiting. Mm. So there are principles exactly. when it comes to that because a principle doesn't change. Doesn't. Because uh, when you get into 
a place, maybe like for example, someone who was maybe in, 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 in ministry completely, yeah. and maybe in this time of Corona, they've decided maybe to step into business. Into business. Yeah. So it is not bad yeah. to seek advice exactly. from maybe people yeah. who have been in that area. Yes. And I think the problem comes in when now you introduce that thing of assumption. I've been successful here, now you bring it here. Not knowing that this area, this person has seen certain season pass. Yes. They know what is happening in the market. Correct. Like for me right now, if I come to you since you're a banker, yeah. there is a way you can advise me in, in regard to stocks, I believe, oh, yeah. and how to buy bonds and stuff. Exactly. So I shouldn't just come because I hear bonds are good and now since... Uh, I have the money, yeah. then uh, I just come and buy the bonds and maybe buy the shares. Yes. And maybe that, yes. <laughs> that company is going, is going under. Exactly. But so, so when I come to you, yeah. I, should, I should listen. Exactly. I should listen to you because you, you have the knowledge yeah. in that field. I think that's why the wise man advised and said there is nothing new yes. under the sun. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to engage in, yes. someone else yes. is already doing it. It's true. Something, even if it's ministry, mm -hmm. someone else is doing what you're trying to do. Yes. If it's business, someone else has done it before. Mm -hmm. What you need is to be able to tap into what they're doing yeah. and the borrow skills here and there mm -hmm. to help you navigate now the journey you are taking. Mm -hmm. Because it's all about knowing what to do at what point. Mm -hmm. Do I shoot, uh, do I get out or mm -hmm. do I stay in? Yes. I mean, how do I take the next step? Mm -hmm. What are the indicators that will show you mm -hmm. that it's time to move to or move. not to move? Mm -hmm. What is it uh, that will help you to know whether to mm -hmm. uh, uh, increase the speed mm -hmm. or lower the speed? Lower the simple speed. like the way we looked at driving. Mm -hmm. you know, if you see a vehicle in front, you slow down also. It's, sort of, it's natural. <laughs> but the same thing with business, you have to understand what is it that is going to make it work. <laughs> and the people have already gone ahead of you, yes. who have the necessary experience. <laughs> you can either read from them yes. or physically engage them. <laughs> Some of this stuff are written in books, they yes. can be read. <laughs> and the, the knowledge can be found and then applied appropriately. Again, you need to be careful so that you don't just take book knowledge and apply it directly. <laughs> Head knowledge. <laughs> the generation suffers from that. Exactly. We suspend something called experience. Yeah. Not knowing that someone has been in that field, they might not have gone to school. Correct. I remember way back when, uh, after school, we used to go back into the village. Yeah. And my, the older people there could just look at the clouds and they could tell you, it's going to rain. It's rain, correct. And they could even advise you, don't plant beans or maize, or don't yes. plant this at this time. Exactly. It will not work. They never went to school, but the ability to stay there for a certain period of time, yeah. they can give you free advice. Correct. And you, with your agriculture, you have come from school. You can have even a <laughs> highest level of education in that particular area. Yes. And then you can try to apply that knowledge yes. in that environment. You will flop. Yes. While someone who has not seen the door of a class <laughs> yes. can, can be in a position mm -hmm. to apply mm -hmm. accurately experiential knowledge mm -hmm. and get results mm -hmm. where you have failed, mm -hmm. yet you are knowledgeable in terms of now theory, theoretical knowledge. So we have three things here. Correct. This is faith, yes. this is knowledge, Correct. and now we introduce experience. Very important. So even if you have faith without knowledge, yes. <laughs> can track. And when you have faith and knowledge minus experience, yeah. my, if you have two minus one, might not work. So you need a combination of three, yes, yeah. which is faith, you act when you hear it. Yes. Two is knowledge, you have an understanding Correct. of the thing that you want to do. Yes. And now experience, you go and acquire more. Yes. By it's not enough to only have the faith, not enough for, to only know, but now you need to add on is it the right time? So, the timing, exactly. The timing, yeah. maybe just to add on experience. Yeah. You know, someone will say, mm -hmm. I have not had experience in this business, 
but that or in this area of life mm -hmm. that's why we are saying now it's important to look at those who are doing it yes. so experience you could say can be borrowed borrowed experience means you look at those who are doing it mm -hmm. or those who have documented what they have done to succeed mm -hmm. and then you are able to employ that borrowed experience yes. so that you don't have to go through a same same challenge someone went through while doing what you are exactly doing. Mm -hmm. So when we say experience, we are not necessarily saying that uh, you are out of school, you have to go through a mm. practical experience yes. for you to excel. Mm -hmm. We are saying you can borrow you can experience borrow. Yes. from those who have gone ahead mm -hmm. of you, with either written mm -hmm. or through living examples, living examples, which are readily available mm -hmm. uh, anywhere uh, you know, on this earth. Mm -hmm. And so that is what we is very critical when we talk about experience, right? It's an aspect that uh, people have demonized money. I think in the earlier days of Christianity, you could find people, they, they are afraid of owning properties. They want to go to heaven. Like there's a story that is being told of some guy, I don't know, even central Kenya or somewhere, that they were told to sell all their properties and they put on iron sheets on their, on their arms and they, they climbed a tree and wanted to fly and go to heaven. Why is it that we feel like we are not needed here? We are needed up there more. Again, it's simple lack of understanding of the grand plan of God. Yeah. If you check clearly, we were our the intentions of God <laughs> for man mm. was to be here. Yes. It's very clear in scripture. He says the heavens are his, mm -hmm. but the earth he has given, he has given to the, the sons, sons of men. Mm -hmm. So that is God. Mm -hmm. He wants us here. Mm -hmm. He wants us to do whatever needs to be done. Yes. Where? Mm -hmm. here, here on earth. And that there are now what we would call uh, the, the, the things that make life here work. And mm -hmm. part of them is wealth creation yes. and finances. All these things come into play. Mm -hmm. Life revolves around these principles. Yes. So you need money mm -hmm. at some point. Yes. Whether you like it or, or not. not. Whether you think it's evil or, or not. not. Mm -hmm. You will interact with money. Actually scripture says that money answereth all things. Yes. But the disclaimer is the love of it. Yeah. The love of it. Uh, and that is one thing that most believers have not really been able to to understand because you'll find someone when they are seeking God in regard to the answering of financial needs they are really humble they are really patient yeah. but when they get it you yeah. they'll be seeing the church from the air they grow wings they grow wings yeah. and 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 now what that will cut off the consistency yeah. of, of, of the blessing because you cannot leave the blesser mm. once the blesser has blessed you you must understand you are the blessing yes. so you are an extension of the blessing but you are not the source so yeah. you must connect and remain connected to the source Correct. for that blessing to flow yeah. so even as we are winding up yeah. just maybe your thoughts on the same yeah, the place of money should not take your life. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody once said the reason why human beings are challenged when they acquire wealth and power is because we were made in the image of God. Mm -hmm. Just like God desires to be worshipped, yes. we tend to gravitate <laughs> to wanting to <laughs> attract that attention. Yeah, because you can afford a few things. Yes. <laughs> so we think we need to yeah. take that place of God. Mm -hmm. So that because we are making things happen, yeah. the good thing is money can help you do one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So that element of being able to mm -hmm. can uh, develop an element of pride in you, and then we begin to think we do not need God at that time. Yes, but uh, God is the sustainer, mm -hmm. and that that hierarchy must remain. Must there remain the same. Creator, mm -hmm. and then there is the creature. Yes, and the things that the creature has mm -hmm. does not have to overshadow mm -hmm. the value mm -hmm. of the God mm -hmm. who created the creature, mm -hmm. and that is the principle that should be maintained. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, Money should not be demonized. Uh, the other thing is that you should not forget the blesser. Correct. And now, the Bible says that he teaches our hands to make it. Like, he's the one who teaches us to make it. Correct. So, motive yeah. is key. Yeah. Because 
it's more like when you just when you are seeking it from him mm. if you're just only seeking money you are you're single-minded that you're only seeking money and you want to get it and then leave god mm. that is wrong yeah so even as he blesses you you know it yeah. is he's, he's not only blessing you yeah. to feel nice live nice those are good things mm. but we must access finance and even ask him for finance yeah. with with a kingdom mindset unfortunately that's all the only time we had uh and uh, we've been able to handle matters kingdom uh, and also matters money and uh god has given us different insight into the matter and i believe that next time we'll have more time to be able to dig into kingdom economics and also look at the bible uh when when it tackles when it handles matters money so i've been your host for today pastor kelvin and my guest today was Pastor Chilson. Thank you for finding the time to be with, be with us. And I believe we'll have to continue this discussion again. Yes. God giving us the time and the grace. And uh, that is all we have for you tonight. And God bless you. See you next time.